Welcome to Garage Door Nation. We're gonna show you exactly how to change a torsion spring into an extension spring. I got my good buddy here, Rob. He's been doing this for a very long time. He's done extension springs thousands and thousands of times. So Rob's gonna show you everything you need to get started and I'm gonna go through this with you. All right, so first of all, what we have is our extension springs themselves. You have different weights. Every 10 pounds of your door makes a difference on which set of springs that, that you use. Uh, you have your cables, which are typically longer than a torsion spring cable. You have your safety cables, which go through your spring when you're all done. Uh, over here, we have our brackets that hold the spring onto the back of the back hang, your sheaves that go over your pulleys, and you need four pulleys. Here we have the standard pulleys, which is the industry standard. This is a heavy duty pulley. If you're gonna stay in your house more than two years, I highly recommend these pulleys. They work so much better, last so much longer. Uh, then you have the bolts to put everything together. Pretty much it's that simple. Uh, last is we have the S hooks and the cables to wrap your cable around, uh, which you'll see later on in this video. So with that, let's get started. First thing I do, this is how we weigh our door. I have a scale down at the bottom in the middle of the door, and what you need to do is you need to take the, the little bit of tension off the, off the cables here. So start my scale, wait for it to get zero, okay, push it up, this is 129.3. It's my cables are loose at this point, so therefore I have dead weight on the scale itself. So let's take 129.3, let's use 130 pound springs. So right here, we have the certain pounds of extension springs and what they go for. So if we go down to 130, we need a set of yellows. And if you look here, here's the yellow springs, there's red springs, there's white springs. So the yellow springs are the 130 pounds. That's a pair of springs equal 130 pounds. So when you change a spring, you can't just change one extension spring because your doors work independently. You have to, you have to change both springs, both, both cables, all four pulleys, and highly recommend adding safety cables to your springs. First thing, unwind the spring. Whenever you deal with a spring, make sure you have proper winding bars. And never stand in front of the spring. If you notice, I'm off to the side of the spring here. So let's take the other cable off. Right, loosen your, your drum. Then the little burrs here I create from the set screws, just take a little file and get those up pretty good. Okay, we'll take this off. Slide it all the way through till the one end comes out. Push it out to the other end. Now you have your spring off. So after we take down the torsion springs, the next thing you have to take down is the bearing plates because we're gonna trade out the bearing plates for your pulleys. So here you have your bearing, your bolt. If you go through this hole right here, you're gonna rub on the bolt. So you have to go into the second hole so you have no rubbing, so everything is free. Runs free, let's go to the other side. Okay, this one here, my gun won't fit because of the wall. So uh, sometimes you gotta improvise. So I'm using my wrench on this one here. I'm gonna put it in the second hole because the first hole will rub on that bolt right there. 
which we can't have. So we're gonna put it in the second, the second bolt where it can go freely. Now we need to lift the door up so we can change the cables and put on the other spring. So this is where I recommend having a buddy come over and helping you lift so you can lift at both ends because you have no spring, no counterbalance on your door, so your door is dead heavy weight. Also have a pair of vice grips so you can lock the door in open position so it doesn't come crashing down. Before we install the springs, let's put the sheaves and the pulleys on them. So these are the sheaves which go around here. But what we need to do is put them through the spring Put our little nut on them and tighten them up. So there's one. Here's two. We'll give a quick little tighten. Make sure that it rolls good. Rolls good. Tighten them up. Now let's change the cables. Cables need to be 12 to 14 feet long in order to, to work for an extension spring. While the door is open, is the easiest part to change the cable. Take the old ones off, put your new cables on. Okay, then we'll take them, put them over the pulley. We're gonna pull up a couple of rollers. And we'll come down that way. Now we're gonna attach our spring to the back hang, which you have up there. Okay, you need your little bolt that goes into the, the uh, back hang, and then this will hook on, your spring will hook onto that when it's there. You wanna go about, wanna go about eight inches up above the top of your door here. Make sure that's good and tight. Put your spring on it, just let your spring go down. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay, in our next step, we have to make sure we have our springs up there, our cables are there, everything's ready to go. All we have to do is hook our cable up and attach it up there. So with these wires, when you're running it, it's gonna be run like this, Okay, so you're gonna come up through here and down through, and then you're gonna wrap your cable around through it, and then it will pull tight. You have to have your cable back. And run it through. You're gonna find out which hole your S6 is gonna go in. Up here you have holes which determine for your S-hook to where you can make your cable tighter or shorter. The ultimate goal is when you stretch your spring, you want your spring to have about a two inch drop in it. Find the spot where you like it, then take your little hook here, run your cable through it, run your cable back down through the middle hole, okay. And then we want to run your cable through like here. Okay, that will tighten it up. Put your S-hook through. We'll pull it so you have about a two inch drop in that. The excess cable here, you can cut it or you can wrap it up. I always like to wrap it up in here. Let's go to the other side. Always make sure that you have a two inch drop on both sides. It's important this is even because your springs work independently and it makes your door operate better. Okay, so this is where you have to be careful. We're done with the springs, but you wanna try it for the first time. So we weighed the door. We know we had the right springs, but let's say you misweighed it or something went wrong. You have the wrong springs. So when you remove the vice grips, that's your safety. So you have to be very careful with that. So I'm gonna put my ladder underneath the door. I'm gonna try it by hand first, okay? So far the door feels good. I'll pull the door down, okay? Door's pretty balanced, so we're good. Okay, now we'll check it all the way down. 
So that's balanced pretty good. When changing your springs and pulleys, it's always a good idea to change your rollers too. Again, with extension springs, your springs are independent of each other versus the torsion spring, they're all on together. So your door wants to go up like this. So you want a free rolling door. Highly recommend uh, changing your rollers as well. <laughs>